Today, I wanted to talk about something that has been on my mind for like the past week. Brute force algorithms versus optimized algorithms. I think that once you have an understanding of both of these algorithms, it's interesting because you can then figure out how to use them to your advantage just in regular life. For those that may be unaware of what an algorithm is, I'll start off by quickly explaining that before I get into brute force versus optimized. Essentially, an algorithm is just a set of instructions and and it maps out possible scenarios with possible solutions to those scenarios should that scenario come up. Let me give you a quick little example. If I told my sister that I wanted her to make dinner, I could leave her a set of written instructions. Those instructions could look like, step number one, open the fridge. Step number two, look for chicken. If there's no chicken, try and look for steak. If there is chicken, take the chicken out. So you'll quickly see how each scenario can branch out into a bunch of different scenarios and there is a solution for each scenario that comes up. That's a very basic level idea of what an algorithm is. And so in programming or in coding, when you are given a question or a problem and they ask you to come up with a solution or an algorithm for that problem, a lot of the time, the two different algorithms that you can come up with are brute force or optimized. It could take a lot of thought, but the brute force solution is very long. It's not that efficient and it essentially just gets the job done. And there's nothing wrong with that. Oftentimes can work and can be perfectly fine, but the optimized solution, a lot of the times can be a bit more thought out, more efficient, utilizes resources better, and can get you to the solution a little bit faster. I was thinking about the differences between the two because I've come to the point in creating content where I feel like I've taken a brute force or I'm taking a brute force approach, especially on TikTok. I create a lot of different videos and the idea in my mind, because that's kind of just what I've seen, is create as many videos as you can and hope that something sticks or that you'll get engagement somehow. And to be quite honest with you, that has worked for a while. I enjoy making the videos, I enjoy putting resources out there, but a lot of the time, or sometimes, most times, the videos don't do that great in terms of engagement. Or let me say not as great, they don't do as good as you would want them to do. And I think that a lot of creators kind of struggle with this, but since it doesn't do as well as you would have hoped, you're like, okay, well, let me just keep putting things out there until something sticks. And that's very, very brute force because you're just flooding your time, you're flooding your resources, and you just want to get it done. So there's no optimized way of that approach. You're just kind of doing everything and it's exhausting. It's very time consuming and it's not efficient at all because you're just, you're not learning from anything. You're just churning out content all the time. And for a while, two to three years, I guess, it worked, right? I gained followers. Sometimes content would do good. Sometimes it wouldn't. I gained an amazing community, but in my eyes, I'm like, okay, well, the video weren't aren't consistently doing well right so i started to think to myself well if i was a little bit more intentional about the kind of content that i created would it be possible for me to still gain the same amount of followers maybe more or still be able to grow a network and still be able to grow an audience in the same amount of time if i was maybe putting less videos out but the videos that i put out were more intentional i analyzed how they did how the retention was would that be a better solution essentially a higher quality or an optimized algorithm for content creation. And so when I was kind of going through this scenario in my mind, it then kind of led me to the place where I was like, well, this idea can kind of be applied to everything in life, right? Sometimes you'll have the absolute perfect scenario to be brute force. I mean, you are throwing everything at this scenario. You want to understand it or you want to get it done. You want to get there as fast as you can. You don't have time to sit around and try and figure it out or fully understand it. You just want to get to your goal or whatever that situation may be. But there's other times in life where it may make more sense for you to pause, take a moment and really analyze what it is you want to do, why you want to do it, under fully understand it first before setting up a plan to get to that. I know that this is very random and maybe doesn't make a lot of sense. 
but in my mind, it makes the most sense. Sometimes you want to be a brute force algorithm and sometimes you want to operate as an optimized algorithm. It just really depends on where you're coming from and what your goal is, how much time you have, the resources you have, how much money do you have, how much support do you have. Sometimes you can only be a brute force algorithm because you may not know what else to do to get to where you're trying to get. You may not have the resources or the support. So you kind of have to just try everything that you can. But there are times where you have the luxury of being an optimized algorithm because maybe you have those resources or you have the background or you know someone that can possibly help you. That's not to say that in order to be an optimized algorithm, you have to have support or resources because you can absolutely be an optimized optimized algorithm simply by trial and error and figuring things out and doing something over and over and over or essentially being a brute force algorithm for so long that you finally recognize patterns that allow you to then be an optimized algorithm. I say all this to say that sometimes less is more <laughs> and that sounds so cliche but I feel like it's so incredibly true. You don't want to overwhelm yourself with trying to do everything all at once and I do that a lot. You want to be very intentional about what you do, why you do it. And I think that that can be a lot more valuable than trying to do 10 things at once and then just not being very efficient at it at all. But at the by the same token, it depends on what your goal is and how fast you're trying to get there. Sometimes being a brute force algorithm can get you there. Maybe not as efficiently, but it'll get you there. Just a little bit of food for thought for you guys. I thought I'd share. Anyways, I hope to catch you guys in the next episode.